if you think about instance initialization blocks, um, you can have more than one, by the way. And uh, if you've got more than one, what happens is they they run in the order in which they appear in the class. Um, if you think about them, um, you're going to want those to run whenever you create a new object. Um, technical term for that is um, when the class is instantiated. That just means when you call new to create a new object. Um, and uh, if you think about that, that's that's no use in the case of static variables. It's only going to be of any use for uh, uh, instance variables. You see, because static variables, you're going to want those to be set correctly even before any object's been created. And um, the way that's done is a thing called a um, static initializer. And static initializers they run when the class itself is loaded up into memory. So as soon as that gets loaded, then the static any static initializers are run. And uh, here's an example of a little piece of uh, code that's got a static initializer in it. Um, obviously, you can also you can have um, static variables that just look say static in i equals 24. You can have that as well at any time you want, of course, but if you want something a bit more complex than that, you want to run a piece of code, for instance, that does some complex computations, that you can't just you can't just stick uh, i equals 24 like that in. It maybe involves several other variables as well. Then static initializer is the way to do it. Uh, here's a simple example. Um, yeah, so a random number generator there called rand and uh, it's created in there, static, so just one of them is created. And uh, a procedure here, a method here called uh, toss coin, and gets the next boolean. And if it's true, it prints out heads, otherwise, it prints out tails if it's false. Um, this is an if statement, by the way, when we come to all these control statements, they're pretty trivial. Exactly the same, really, as C, more or less. And uh, here's a class that actually tests that. And all it does is call game toss coin three times. And so you get uh, heads or tails printed out three times. Because I couldn't, didn't have room to put any more in. Um, and that's all that does. Now that thing there is the static initializer. And when this class is loaded up into memory, that's when that gets run. What happens, of course, first is first. What happens is uh, that gets set um, to null initially because it's initialized to null before that's run. So that gets set to null, then that gets run and, and it gets overwritten with a random uh, pointer to this random number generator class. And uh, that static initializes. Well, we'll come to all these things in a great deal more detail later. I'm just trying to give you a, a sort of an overall view of, of what goes on because there's so much here.